Now, the properties of gases are such that we can predict whether or not they float or sink based upon one property and one property only. We've already seen that. What is normal gas made up of? What is our atmosphere mainly composed of? What two gases? <laughs> nope, not carbon dioxide. That's a very small component. I've got to take the cotton out of my ears for a moment. Are you saying no? Oxygen. Oxygen. And next to it on the periodic table? Nope. What's next? Huh? Hydrogen. Not hydrogen. Oh, nitrogen. nitrogen. Our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen. Well, those are both diatomic elements, so if we look at its molecular weight, nitrogen being 28 and oxygen being 32, that's the basis for most of our air. <clears throat> if we have something like H2, which has a molecular weight of just 2, it's lighter than the majority of air, so it rises. If we have something like carbon dioxide, which has a combined molecular weight of 44, which is greater than 28 and 32, it's going to sink. And actually, an entire episode of CSI has been made purely upon the basis of carbon dioxide being heavier than normal air. We'll talk about that more when we talk about radioactivity and radon as well. We're not here to talk about the heaviness of hydrogen and oxygen gases, though. We're here to talk about its flammability. And the reason that we do not use this particular gas in blimps anymore is its particular flammability. And I know this is going to pop up on YouTube later today, right? Yeah. Don't worry, it's good PR for the school. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, for now, it's, until he sets himself on fire. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light this burner, and I'm going to use a meter stick to push the flame underneath the balloon. Now, this is going to be particularly loud. You will want to put your hands over your ears. Do not stick your fingers in your ears, because if you jump, you could cause a sudden pressure difference, and you can't actually do more ear damage that way from the, the noise itself. So you want to put the palms of your hands on your ears when I set this one off. This simulates the Hindenburg, and the Hindenburg, imagine if a blimp were to blow up like this, imagine this explosion taking about 51 seconds to occur. Well, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Not too bad. The reason that was just more of a foomp than a boom was that all the oxygen that we need for an explosion was on the outside of the balloon itself. What if we were to take the ideal mixture of two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen and put it all in the same balloon? Well, lucky you, I have already done that. This is not an explosion. This one's known as a detonation. Nice. Cover your ears. Fire the hole! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 